Okay, so I'm just gonna use my phone and kind of get a little bit of basic footage. I will turn on the uh, GoPro if I can and uh, get something better. What? But I have these two um, Power Acoustic 15s and this amp. Obviously, you know, lower end stuff, but it made sense for me to do it on the business credit uh, just to put something in this this vehicle. So this is the um, 87. Fleetwood Brome that I have and um, I am going to be switching out some stuff on the front but I do have so I'm switching the front clip but I do have let me go over kind of what I'm going to use for the install these are um, the little clamps that you use to get a little bit more professional end on, on the uh, end of the wire I'm going to use those for the speaker wires because I think that's what gauge would work best I do have these larger ones to kind of connect some um they're copper crimps and they'll connect the um, power and ground wires. And then um, I have this here and uh, I guess it looks kind of overkill, but at the same time, I am gonna be putting this extra battery in there. So I'll have this battery. Um, I am gonna have this isolator. I wish I was a little bit more organized on this table, but uh, I've been doing a lot of yard work and, and just busy. So. I'm gonna go through these and decide kind of which one I use. Um, I'll probably use these um, off the main battery and then I'll be able to come back. I don't even know if that's large enough, but anyways, um, yeah, my goal is to get um, the main power ran and get the amp ran. These are the two crimpers here. So this is the larger crimper for the uh, copper ones. Uh, and this is the crimper for these smaller ones. So hopefully I can get a nicer, um, oops, that goes with the Alante stuff. Hopefully I can get a lot nicer um, finish on this. And then I would like to use this, um, let me see if I can open this up and, well, maybe you can see right there. These are called um, banana connectors, or that's what I've always heard them called. Um, and they, uh, kind of slide in so when you have a speaker wire I'll show you later, but the speaker wire will go in this part where you can screw down and then um, This will just poke in kind of like an, at an angle like a 90 degree angle like an elbow and uh, If I can get one of these open later, I'll open and show you uh, They just kind of poke in here so a little bit better connection easier to pull on and pull off and then this is the box here that I'm using Let me come around and show you so simple box i got off craigslist i think i paid like 45 bucks for this these i got robbed but they are on business credit no big deal the amp was super cheap it does say it's a 6000 watt amp um i'm gonna go ahead and say it's like maybe like a 13 or 1400 watt amp anyways it's about 23 inches long 20 something like that 22 and a half um it says 6000 watts i only paid 144 or 141 for that and i don't know what we're gonna do with these these might go on a different build um, but I do have some new six by nines here and I'm gonna try to put this deck, it's just a um, breakaway screen deck, do, uh, double gen, and hopefully I can use this uh, dash. So this blue dash is from a 90s. I'm gonna put this whole dash in, but the center console, I mean, I'm gonna try to use cause it's already ready to go for double gen. I think I might be able to convert it and, and rock it like that, use it as is. Um, but if not, oh well, I'll, I'll figure it out. I do have a, um, I do have a dent, uh, a dash that I took out of the, um, the other car that I kind of mangled up that would fit, you know, so I could get by with working a double dent just like that if I have to, but ready to connect it up. Um, even if I have to um, disconnect the unit, the head unit and switch out my dash and do the conversion on my um, front clip to the 90 front end, because this is a dig digital dash that we have down here. So I'm gonna put that in um, afterwards. But yeah, I'll turn on the GoPro. This is just a little intro video that I'm gonna go ahead and upload so that you guys, um, just to put some content out there and make sure people see me moving and you know, you guys can see what I'm working on and don't, don't miss out. But um, 215s, 6,000 watt amp going in. And I think I, I think I have two six by nines right now. Yeah, I got these two six by nines. I forgot about those. Um, 
and then I'm gonna definitely do these newer ones here. I might even choose, these are kind of crappy. I'd like for these, this one's okay, but I'm missing the other one. I think somebody stole it. And I want the newer six by nines to go in the Elante. So the Elante's in the shop right now. I would have used, these are actually five by eights or something weird like that. I had a weird measurement on there. Um, but those are kind of cool too. Silver and Vegas. So yeah, we'll see what we end up putting in there. I do have those two six by nines and I have these two newer ones. And we're gonna put an amp on all the insides. So I'm gonna do, I think, I think on this build, because we're going Kenwood, we have a Kenwood, where's it at? Not this one. Where's that? No Kenwood four channel. No, there's the explode. It's somewhere here. I'm pretty sure I bought a Kenwood four channel. And it's here somewhere. Probably in the box. But, um, yep, that's my goal. I guess not. I guess we have this new Pioneer. And then we have this block put. And then we have this Kenwood. There's a Kenwood amp somewhere. I'll find it. Turn you back on. All right. Later.